Best Christmas Ever is currently streaming on Netflix. This is a 2023 film, and um, the director of it is pretty much exactly what caught my attention, as well as the cast in the film, too, I will say. But Mary Lambert directing this film, who's the director of Pet Cemetery, one of the first films to ever scare the shit out of me in my life, and Pet Cemetery too, as well as Urban Legend Bloody Mary, and this really silly film called The Attic, and a bunch of <laughs> horror films that she has under her belt, and now she's doing a Christmas comedy. So um, I saw that, and I Kind of had to check it out immediately. It also has Jason Biggs, famous for American Pie. It has Heather Graham in this, and it has Brandy, the R&B singer. So you get those three together in the same film, and directed by Mary Lambert as well, and it's kind of a must-watch. Um, as much as like the posters and the advertisement was definitely already showing that this film was going to be cheesy, and it's beyond cheesy, um, I still had to check it out. And it's fine. Um, the biggest thing this film had going for it is the cast, as I mentioned, and um, the fact that I was in a really good mood when I watched this. So it would, under normal circumstances, probably be like a 2 out of 5, uh, but I gave it a 2.5 out of 5 because it really entertained me when I watched it, and it was uh, fun to be had. I was, I was ready for the ride of cheese, and um, when I say cheese, I mean like this film is loaded with it. I mean, we're talking the finest brie completely melted all over this friggin' movie. Like, it's cheese galore. Uh, what we have going on here, basically, is uh, Jason Biggs and Heather Graham. They're a couple. They're, I would say, well off enough. I mean, they don't have, like, extravagant things or anything, but they have two kids, and they have a pretty decent life for Jason Biggs especially, but Heather Graham is more of a jealous kind of person, and they both have this mutual friend, that uh, uh, Jason Biggs and Brandy, this uh, this woman played by Brandy, uh, used to be in a band together, and they haven't spoken to each other in a long time, but uh, Heather Graham and Jason Biggs' character, I forget names now, um, knew Brandy from the past kind of thing. And Brandy's character is this um, seemingly rich woman who sends postcards yearly and is always, like, bragging about her life, like, traveling and, like, hot air balloons and, and doing extravagant things for Christmas and her life just seems perfect on like social media and, and all around the holidays she's always like not necessarily bragging but um, displaying everything she has in this like glamorous kind of fun lifestyle that she lives and Heather Graham gets extremely jealous about this. Um, they're gonna go visit Heather Graham's character's sister but there's this scene of uh, Heather Graham being sarcastic to her son and her son takes her literally and so she's all like oh yeah I would totally love to uh, visit Brandy's character again I forget her name uh, and you know totally spend the entire Christmas with her that would just be so much fun and she's being sarcastic but the kid takes her seriously and puts the address on her phone as a Christmas present so that instead of driving to her sister's outside of town to her sister's new home she accidentally drives to Brandy's home, and then they show up, and uh, Brandy's like, come in, stay the night, and because they're so off course, they decide to, and then the next day they get snowed in, and basically it just goes on to a situation where Jason Biggs and Heather Graham and their kids are stuck, kind of stuck with, uh, with Brandy for the holidays kind of thing, and then like stuff plays out kind of comedic and dramatic in, in that sort of sense. It's a pretty heartwarming film, um, at least it... it, it its themes are heartwarming, and like I said, it, it's beyond cheesy, but it definitely has that Christmas spirit to it, and um, most of the jokes are corny, like the writing is just okay. Um, Mary Lambert has this corniness, cheesiness to her, you can tell even in her horror films, but uh, she definitely brings that here to like the Christmas kind of uh, heartwarming, really sappy, you know, sweet kind of elements to this. And like I said, I was along for the ride and I can see what message this film was going for, but they really half-ass it with diving into the theme of it at the end, like, and, and where things go towards the climax. Like they, they're really, they're, they're dealing with kind of dark uh, subject matter, but they treat it so um, surface level. And you're watching things play out and there's certain reveals that kind of make you eye roll in a sense just because of how they handle situations and stuff like that. 
And uh, of course, there's like sexual innuendos, which were pretty funny for the most part. But uh, you'll see like Jason Biggs and Heather Graham will start making out by this like model house and then the, the chimney of the model house will start smoking. <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, I know. Like that's, it's that kind of corniness throughout the entire picture. Um, and then you have some musical uh, moments in the film with Brandy being in it, obviously. So she's... Uh, she sings a lot in this film, or um, there's moments where she starts breaking into song kind of thing, which is nice. And um, everybody gives it, everybody does what they were asked to do kind of thing, and, and they, they're definitely seemingly dedicated to their performances, but um, a lot of dialogue and a lot of the jokes are pretty cringe, and you have to definitely be prepared for like, you know, a cheesy experience, because that's exactly what you're going to get. But uh, it, it's heartwarming for Christmas, and it definitely plays on a Christmas theme and it's it's enjoyable enough and like I said I think I watched it being in in the exact mood for this kind of film maybe that's why I liked it a little bit more um but it's nothing like revolutionary or anything it's not going to be a Christmas classic I don't think but if you like the three actors and actresses in it which I do and uh, I definitely have a lot of nostalgia for all of them um I think that enhances the experience like I said um, Mary Lambert's an interesting director, just to say the least, because of, you know, where she's gone in her career and the things she's delivered are definitely make for conversation. I could say that, uh, Pet Cemetery obviously being by far her best, but she's done some interesting projects, uh, since, and this is one of them. So that's really all we got on the film. Go check it out on Netflix. It's streaming right now for free. So subscribe to Morgan Film Fan if you like to listen to my voice or if you like my film reviews. I'll be back with more soon, so stay tuned for those. Check out what's on the channel already. Stay tuned for what's coming. Until next review, have a good one. Take care and cheers.